In this video I'm going to show you how to copy a query and then modify it to create it and then show you how to use the sort feature to um, sort on multiple levels and group items in a query. So let's right click on query plant pickup and copy and then click here the right click again let's paste we're getting the copy of query plant pickup list let's just change that name right away to query here we're going to look at the e newsletter so e newsletter so let's go into design view right away and remove the donation date it's no longer relevant to this query so you can see here the black arrow that I've got hovering above donation date click on that and then using the delete key on your keyboard you can delete that field I'm going to add the e-newsletter e field under uh, the table donors to this query and when I double click of course that adds it to the end of the row I want to leave it there but I also want to group and sort by it here in the query and so in order for me to sort first by whether they say yes or no to the e-newsletter, I need to have that field in the first position. So I'm dragging and dropping it here and it will be inserted on the leftmost position before the last name. So now I have two instances of the e-newsletter. And this is where the sort comes in really handy. We can sort ascending and then we can hide it so that we don't show that field anymore. So let's just leave it on and see what it looks like when we um, have it showing up here, you can see that it's giving me this expression. It's not allowing for two of the same fields to be used. So back into design view, let's just hide that field and we can see it here populating at the end. So it is our first sort, but we're actually showing the results in the, uh, as the last field in the query. So go ahead, uh, making that change and running the query. And you'll see that yes, e-newsletter is showing here at the end. And if uh, by chance one of your field names is not showing completely, you can double click using between any of these columns here to get the best fit of the field name. So that's how you use um, the sort in this way. We can also then again sort last name ascending or descending, whatever makes the most sense for the query.